Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am back with a new video for you guys and for today's video we're going to be doing something very very new to my channel and I'm so excited to be doing this with you guys. As I've been mentioning in my past couple of videos as well as with my grandparents going back to Peru, as you guys know my grandma was the one who really cooked for us and has been cooking for us since she came in May. So without her being here this past week I've noticed that what I've been doing the most is just eating fast food or I have just not been eating at all. So I did want to go ahead and get really into my meal planning and meal prepping now that my grandma's not here of course my mom or i have cooked for the family in the past but i think that it would be really nice to at least try out this whole meal planning and meal prepping um for the week now i'm only going to be doing this for myself so i'm not going to be doing it for like a family for my family my husband and i just myself me myself and i that's it <laughs> So I have a couple of things here and this is going to be a sort of different video um, I mean, it's already a different video to my channel, but it's going to be in sort of parts So this is going to be the first part and sorry about my nail if you guys have seen my plan with me You guys know why that's happened, but again with a broken nail, right? The first part is going to be me sort of setting up my shopping list and Seeing what it is that I'm going to be having for breakfast lunch and dinner for the next week um, using my meal planner this is the petite meal planner if you guys don't know by Erin Condren I've been having this for a while now but I wanted to really use it once my grandma wasn't here anymore so we have that and then I'm going to make my shopping list to go to the grocery store today and I'm going to go to the grocery store pick up all the things that I need then bring them back cook them and sort of give you guys a rundown of what it is that I picked up and then sort of set up what it is that I'm going to be eating for all of those meals. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So right here I have, like I mentioned, my meal planner. I also do have these two sticker books from Erin Condren. These are the most, I, I think these are the newest ones she just released. The Cool for School one and the one that came out with the Kaleidoscope pattern for the new year. As well as I do have these meal prep stickers. Sorry, there's one missing. I used this to show you guys how the, um, they fit in my planner. But I'm going to also use these um, to mark because I believe I'm going to be eating the same thing for lunch for the next five days, I would say. So let me go ahead and show you guys how the meal planner looks inside first, just in case you guys have never seen it. I think I have hauled this on my channel once. But, you know, just in case you guys are new followers. So this is how the meal planner looks. And it basically has a rundown of your week so the only thing i don't like about this is that it starts on a sunday and I'm, you guys are probably going to see this um later on in the week but i am going on sunday to pick up today is sunday i'm going to pick up the groceries barely and i just don't think this is going to work for me i work the best on a monday through sunday basis so i am going to have to cover all of this and sort of write that um down so as you guys can see it has your whole week boxes for your breakfast your lunch and your dinner then on this page you have your shopping list which is what i'm going to write on um right now and then you have sort of your meal prep strategy which i will also sort of write down and you have just a bunch of those pages I know there's different sorts of pages, but you have, as you guys can see, a ton of weeks. Yeah, just a ton of weeks. Then you do have, I think you have a couple of these, yeah. You have your dinner party meal plan. So if you're meal planning for like a dinner party, this is a great way to do it as well. So you have some sections for your drinks, appetizers, main dishes, side dishes, desserts, and sort of the guests, the requests, allergies, and what they're bringing. Again, um, with your shopping list, cooking schedule. Love that. I don't think I'll ever really use that, but you do get a couple of those. And then the last pages that we have are your price tracker, which I don't know if I'll be using this too much. You only get... Two of these pages so i might use it might not then you have your real recipe logs and you do get a couple of pages of that and then last but not least you have your conversion charts which i really like these love that and that is it so that is what i'm going to be using i didn't show you guys but this um with every petite planner that erin condren has you do get a sticker sheet so this is the meal planner sticker sheet really cute i think so what i'm going to do is i didn't want to write on the very first page just because i never like to do that i don't know why i might just end up um sticking these 
yeah i'm just gonna end up writing on this side but i'm just gonna fold it like this okay so what i'm going to do is show you guys what my shopping list for this week is and i'm not going to be doing peruvian food i'm basically just going to be doing just veggies and like basic things that don't take too long to cook but that you can also keep refrigerated for this amount of time i don't have my other pens i'm just going to use this one this is just a scribble prints pen that i got at the planner party so first i want to pick up some broccoli oh i missed the c there sorry <laughs> some broccoli i also want some brussels sprouts Okay, then I want some sweet potatoes. I want to get chicken breasts. I also want to have eggs. I'm just writing the stuff that I need. Um, I might have eggs here at home, so I'll go ahead and check after, but I just wanted to really have all of my thoughts together in a one um, and then I will have I want to get some Greek yogurt Greek yogurt I want to get granola I want carrots And I'm still thinking about my fruit, if I want to do bananas or apples. I might just do apples. Some hummus. And I think that's going to be it for this week. I believe so. As of right now, what I have in my head, that's what I'm going to pick up. I did have other things like spinach or like almond butter. But I think I'm just not going to do that. So this is what I have to go shopping for basically. And I also have this here which I can put like sort of the weight that we're on. So then my sort of meal, strat meal prep strategy that I'm going to write here is meal prep for lunch. So I'm only going to meal prep for lunch from Monday. Friday and the reason why I'm only going to meal prep from Monday through Friday is because I think I want to eat out on the weekends that's sort of what I have just because I feel like it'd be easiest and I wouldn't be having to have like food from like seven days ago I think so I think Monday through Friday is perfect for me so I'll meal prep for lunch from Monday through Friday um, I will put eat out on the weekends eat out on the weekends and then dinner because i want to so i'm only going to be meal prepping for lunch so i'm thinking on dinners for dinners i'm going to eat whatever it is that my mom ends up cooking that day or the day before so i might just end up eating leftovers or just what she has cooked at lunch for like the rest of us i think so and then that way i wouldn't have to like say meal prep for every single meal yeah i think so so then i'll put leftovers Or I'm put, put splash, mom's cooking for dinner. There you go. Okay, so that is what my meal prep strategies are going to be for this week. Um, I definitely have other ones, but I think this is what I'm going to mostly focus on. Just as my first week of really transitioning into meal prepping. I've probably done this like once in the past, but not really. So that is what I have right now. So let me go ahead and go to the grocery store to pick up all these things. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so I am back from grocery shopping and I realized I forgot something, but I think it all works out in the end. Um, so let me go ahead and let you guys know what it is that I picked up. Now, I'm not going to make a grocery haul, but if you guys would be interested in me having that, let's say maybe the next meal prepping video, then go ahead and let me know. 
I probably will be showing you guys the meals that I've cooked, but not really like me eating it or anything. Nothing like what I eat in a day or anything, but maybe possibly in the future. So I did do a pen swap, by the way, because I ended up getting my pens for my car. Um, so I did pick up some broccoli. I picked up the Brussels sprouts. I did not pick up the sweet potatoes. So I'm just going to make a little dash here. I did end up picking up chicken breasts. We had eggs already, so... I'll just go ahead and put yes, but we already had eggs at home. Um, I did pick up Greek yogurt. I had granola. Picked up some carrots. No apples. We actually picked up, I actually picked up bananas instead. So let me put that here. Um, I did pick up hummus. And the last thing that I did pick up that I didn't write in here was some almond butter that I thought I could use as a spread with my toast. And I think that's all that I picked up. Yes, yeah, so this is my sort of grocery list for the week. Once again, we have our meal prepping strategies, which we just talked about in the last clip. And now I'm going to decorate this because um, as you guys can see, it starts, like I mentioned, from Sunday through Saturday. And I wanted to start from Monday through Sunday. So let me take a look in here for some strips i think i like this will this cover it i think so let me take this purple one yeah i will perfect okay so i just took a little washi strip from there and now i'm just going to cover from end to end mm. Well, let me see what I want to put as little tabs. Let's see, we have a smaller one here. So there's not really like tiny ones, but I think there's some in the petite planner sticker. So let me take a look. Okay, so I'm going to start from up here because I just realized that it's not going to go all the way through. I know this is like probably way too much for some people, but I like I love to decorate my planners. And my meal planner is not going to be an exception, I don't think. Um, so yes, mm, yeah, it's a little. Okay, so I just did like major crafting over here. I just got some of the Erin Condren like ombre boxes. And I went ahead and measured sort of the width of the boxes in here and I went ahead and just cut it here and then cut each single one so as you guys can see this is how it ends up looking um I know this is way too much but this is all I had and kind of what I wanted to go with so let's go ahead and put Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay, so let me go ahead and choose. here now it's not perfect because the first one is a little longer but that's okay Sunday okay that definitely looks a little weird but we have our Monday through Sunday which is all I wanted so that's fine now I'm going to just give you guys sort of a rundown of what my meal prep is going to be. Now I don't think I'm going to have the same exact things every day, at least not for breakfast or dinner, but I will be having the same things for lunch, which is going to be my meal prep. So I want to separate my breakfast and dinner into two boxes because I want it to be sort of like breakfast and snack, my meal prep snack then dinner that's sort of what i want to do um the reason why i'm meal prepping which i don't know if i've mentioned in this video yet is not because i want to be the healthiest person in the world and i want to work out and have gains um, i really just wanted to meal prep 
so I could eat my regular meals that I have not been doing like at all. So that's sort of the reason why I'm meal prepping. Now there's a lot of different reasons why you would be meal prepping, but that is just my reasoning for it. So I'm just gonna do it in pencil because I don't think I'll be doing it for every like single day. So I'll just do it for the first one. So on Monday, I think I'm going to have a Greek yogurt and granola for breakfast. Okay. And then for lunch, I'm going to do my meal prep. So this is where I'm going to use my little meal prepping stickers. So my meal prep, I'm going to write it just on Monday, is going to be roasted veggies, okay, which those are going to be the broccoli and the Brussels sprouts, the chicken breast, it's going to be a baked chicken breast, and then I'm going to eat it also with white rice. I just really like white rice, so I definitely wanted to include it in my meal prep. And now for snacks, I do have eggs. So I'm going to um, have the hard-boiled egg as a snack between breakfast and lunch. So I'll put hard-boiled egg. And then as a snack between lunch and dinner, it's going to be carrots. which I did buy baby carrots, which is going to be so much easier to eat. And then for dinner, I don't know yet because like I mentioned, I'm going to eat whatever my mom ends up cooking or maybe I'll just end up making myself something really easy in the night, like, I don't know, like a sandwich or a quesadilla or something like that. But that is how it's going to look. Now I can go ahead and put lay down my meal prepping stickers because for lunch, that's exactly what I'm going to be eating. So that and I don't need to write it every single day I think with just writing it the first day is more than enough so like I mentioned I'm going to be eating that meal prep from Monday through Friday because one of my meal prep strategies is to eat out on the weekends and I think that's really going to motivate me to stay um, and eat my meal prep every week at least I hope so so I think this is how I'm going to end up doing it. I don't think I'll even end up meal prepping for Saturday, but I will probably write down what it is that I ate just to have a track of that. But that is pretty much all I have for this meal prep video. Now, I'm not sure if I've already shown you guys or if I will show you guys after I finish this setup video. I think I do want to maybe put some little cute stickers from the meal planner here. Maybe some carrots here. That's cute. And maybe we will do these little dining out stickers on Saturday and Sunday. Now, now these are the only ones that come in the sheet. So maybe I might pick some up or maybe I will just make some dining out stickers. So this is how my meal planner is looking. This is my whole meal plan for the week. Like I mentioned, I'm only really meal prepping for lunch, which is what I'm going to be eating from Monday through Friday. Now breakfast is probably going to rotate between the Greek yogurt and granola and my um, toast with almond butter or bananas. And that's sort of also what's going to rotate within the snacks within the week. But this is just, I hope, and I really do think going to help me. I'm really excited to start prepping and eating this week. I totally forgot to mention yesterday, I didn't take a video of any of my meal prepping, but I did all of my meal prep on um, Sunday, so yesterday. It is now Monday and I'm going to get ready to eat my food. Um, as you guys can see, I got some of these containers I got these off of Amazon. I got a pack of 21. They're supposed to be BPA safe, microwave safe, um, dishwasher safe, just a bunch of different things. So I'll go ahead and leave a link for these containers down below. But I did get a pack of $21 and I believe that was around like $15. Um, so I have my roasted veggies here, which um, are my broccoli and my Brussels sprouts. I have some white rice here and some chicken. Now I do think that my servings for the chicken were off a little bit and 
I don't know if I might end up cooking more during the week, but I just don't think that that's gonna fill me up. But aside from that, I also did make some hard boiled eggs, which I'm gonna have as a snack. And I also did have bananas, so I want to have those as a snack as well. So I think before I eat my actual lunch, um, I just had breakfast, which just contained, of course, like as you guys already know, because I meal planned it, I had some Greek yogurt with granola and I think I'm going to snack on an egg before I eat my food. Then go ahead and eat my lunch. And I also did purchase some carrots to snack on. So I think this is what I'm going to snack on after I finish my lunch. And that's going to be it um, before I go into work. Now that's pretty much all that I have for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys did, please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. As well as subscribe to my channel if you guys are not subscribed already. Let me know what you think about this video if you enjoyed it. And would like to see me maybe doing these um, on a weekly basis or on a monthly basis. Go ahead and let me know by commenting down below. I really always appreciate all of your comments, advice, support, everything. So I hope you guys have an amazing week. And I will see you guys in my next video video. Bye guys.